Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, I just want to say actually a couple things. First thing was I actually vlogged my entire week last week. Woke up every single morning, did it, and as I was going to upload the video, it's I know you guys are going to laugh at me, but I basically do everything off my phone. So I, I film off my phone, I upload them off my phone because my laptop's from 2005 and I am getting a new MacBook. Um, not a new MacBook, that I, I don't already have one. But I am going to get a laptop so that I could like properly edit my videos because as you guys can see, I don't even have a damn fucking intro. I don't like do these cool fucking clips and like I just I don't know how to do any of that and I'm pretty sure you need a MacBook to do it. I mean, comment down below if you if you don't need a MacBook to do that, but I'm like pretty sure you do. So in saying all that, this is my intro for now and hopefully soon I'll have a proper one. But um, yeah, I vlogged everything and then it said, oh, you don't have enough sport storage space. And I'm like, hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, you can imagine how I was feeling. I was like, I just vlogged a whole fucking week and then I can't upload it now. So then I had to clear a bunch of space and turns out I deleted some of the videos that were in my clip and it just went downhill. So here I am making another video um and this time i'm gonna do a question and answer i asked you guys on instagram uh what kind of questions you guys wanted me to answer so i got actually like a couple good questions and so i'm gonna start first of all i did get a lot of people just commenting on like my page and like my fashion and how they like my positivity and how upbeat i am and stuff and I just want to say like I appreciate that so much. It's so nice to hear when people like comment on the stuff that you're putting out there. Um, even though it's just for fun and obviously don't get paid for anything obviously. Um, it's really nice to have people like from all over the world like comment that they like my stuff and that they like my page and stuff like that. It's really really nice. Um, but um, I I'm obviously filming with my phone, so I like remembered all the questions. I'll just start with the first one. So one of the first most common questions that I got was, what motivates you to do what you do? Like, how do you stay motivated in quarantine? And what, what kind of things do you get up to? So I have a lot of things that motivate me. Number one is definitely having a routine. Um, at first, this kind of really affected me. I don't like having a routine. At, I mean, I don't like jumping all over the place and not having a routine like I thrive off of a routine so me making a routine really worked for me and motivated me because it made me excited to do the next thing um you know I would be excited to wake up in the morning and have my coffee I would then be excited to do my workout and then I would be excited and then I would feel good after crossing those things off my list and that would motivate me to keep going and seeing change in my attitude um, in my body and everything. I think change is a big motivator and although it takes time when you do see change it's honestly the best feeling in the world. So that is definitely something that motivates me is having a routine, seeing change and you know people like commenting on like the fact that they like my page or like something like that. Like that stuff motivates me. Like people who comment on my things or you know, like that really motivates me to keep going and keep doing things. So yeah, another um, common question that I got was, why did you want to become a social worker? Um, and like, what makes you want to help people in general? And to answer that, it's kind of like a long ish story. Um, but, you know, I just realized that I had a special gift. And that was, you know, being positive and you know, looking at life through a, a good lens. And I knew growing up that I had an above average or average um, lifestyle. And, you know, I got to, I was privileged enough to like do sports, play hockey, um, you know, have food on my table every day. And I just like realized as I was growing up that that's not just something that people get, that's a privilege. 
and you know growing up uh, in Scarborough and going to a school that was probably below poverty line I'd say um, a lot of people were uh, living in buildings and we actually had a shelter behind our school um, made me realize at a young age that not everybody comes from the same background as me and not everybody you know has the same upbringing as me and I'm very fortunate I'm very lucky and from that moment on I realized that I could you know take that with a grain of salt appreciate it and help people and support people emotionally you know and it started at a young age when <laughs> I know I'm funny I know I know but I wanted to make jokes to people you know like I loved making people laugh I still love making people laugh and I think that was the best thing for me. It was like being a kid and figuring out what made people laugh and doing stupid little pranks and stuff like that. And just seeing that, you know, money isn't everything and, you know, being somebody's emotional support can be so much. So that's kind of a long story short. I grew up and then, you know, I realized going into high school along with everybody. Um, and I just thought I had a place to help people and, I was always confident in who I was as a person and who I am and that never changed whether you know people didn't like me I didn't really care and I didn't pay attention to that stuff and I still don't pay attention to that stuff like if you don't like me that's not, not on me that's on you because I know where my heart is it's in a good place and I feel like for everybody who's watching right now I feel like you need to also realize that if you're doing something out of the goodness of your heart and you're living your life to how you want to live it if people don't like that, that's nothing to do with you. That's everything to do with them. So I've always had that mindset and I think my parents taught me that from a young age. Um, but obviously from person to person it's different. It's not really something that can be taught. It's something that you have to kind of make up. So I'm lucky to have that. So just having that confidence um, is really what I knew could bring me forward. So yeah, throughout high school, I realized I wanted to help people even more. And then when I went to university, I studied psychology and law and I realized I just wanted to help people. So that's really it. Um, but yeah. Okay. So another question that I got was, have I ever been injured before playing a sport? How did I bounce back from that injury? And um, the question, the answer to that is, fortunately um knock on any wood i have around here i have never had like a serious injury where i've like had to be out of the game or out from like being active um so i don't know much about that um i always stretch so much before i start my workout and i always stretch afterwards i at least stretch for 10 minutes before and 10 minutes after um to me it's honestly just like a mental thing too like I like to put my music on and just relax after a workout so that's what helps me but yeah I've never had a serious injury where yeah. like not be able to work out um other than my two long toes being bruised and not running for like two or three days but no um fortunately I have been very lucky and I haven't sustained any injuries I've never broken any bone so yeah, I don't know much about that. Another question that I got was, what are my favorite inspirational books? And what slash who, if anybody inspires me? Um, and I just wanna say that I got this book. It's called Don't Sweat the Small Stuff. Um, it says for women, but really reading it, it's probably for everybody. Um, and I got it like in high school. I got it so long ago and it is just one of the best books for inspiring me it's like a little pick me up when you need it like literally i'll just read a title of any page randomly and see for example this one says set your own priorities and then it will talk for like a page and that's it it's like just a little blurb i'll give you for example it says we live in a gotta keep up gotta keep going era so do you continue to live like a sheep just following the flock because of some irrational fear you're not going to keep up? Or do you reflect on the kind of life you really want and then set your own priorities? My vote is set your own priorities. So then she goes on to talk about like how to set your priorities and everything is different. Like every single page, like look in the mirror and she talks about, it's just an amazing book and I pick it up whenever I feel like I need to pick me up and I'm like, oh nice, this inspires me to like, you know, it's just a bad day and whatever. 
Also as well, like these little guys, I know I did, I got them at the beginning of quarantine. Um, and they're little books just like this. I got four of them. And they're awesome little quote books that are just like really great quotes. The first one is don't worry, be happy. The second one is pause, which talks a lot about like how to stop in your tracks and meditate and do stuff like that. Um, good vibes only. Um, and you are amazing. And uh, the author is, um, to be honest, it's a bunch of people, I think. Um, but you can get them from chapters. I could see if I can find a link and I'll link it below. And the author to this book, and uh, there's other Don't Set the Small Things um, or Small Stuff. And it's by Richard Carlson um, and Christine Carlson. And I'm pretty sure there's other books and there's newer ones because I got this one a long time ago. But I'm pretty sure it's still on the shelves. So yeah, those are my inspirational books. Um, something that, in, like, do I have somebody who inspires me? Um, that I see that's just like working hard, on the grind, people who are real, and then I see their success stories. Those people inspire me. Like, I don't look up to like anybody you know, in particular, like, I know I love Tammy Hembro and everybody knows that about me because she's such a girl boss, like, and by that I mean, like, she gets shit done, she has kids, like, she, I don't know, she just, like, has so many, I, I think she's a wonderful person and, like, obviously I don't know everything about her, but from what I do, um, I just really love everything about her, but, like, obviously she inspires me a lot, um, but I'm talking about anybody who has a great success story or, you know, people who f come back from failures and then I don't know I just feel like real life raw things and that really inspires me to keep going um because at the end of the day like I've had things set me back I've had failures um you know like losing my job uh, last year and losing my brother and having things like set me back and just keep going is just like those kind of things inspire me like my experiences inspire me so yeah, my friends inspire me, um, my family inspires me, they motivate me so much. I'm so thankful to have such a good friend group and such a good family who, who keeps pushing me and motivating me to do better. Okay, I'm gonna answer two more questions. Um, one of them was, what are your top makeup products? Like, what do you use? Um, and one of my, I'll just go through them quickly. Um, this Skin Pore, it's called the Pore Refiner Primer. And it's by Dr. Brandt. <laughs> a fucking amazing. Amazing. This shit, like, I don't even know if you could tell, but, like, it blocks all my damn pores. It's so good. And I have oily fucking skin. And this shit is a savior. Um, another product that I love is the Huda Beauty Powder. And it's basically a baking powder. I only use it to bake. And it's in pound cake. And this is it, and it is wonderful. You just bake and it creates a flawless look on your skin. Um, another product that I love and that I can't live without is highlighter. And I'd say my favorite highlighter is the Becca one, and it's called Champagne Pop. Your girl is like literally done. Done. I need to get a new one. Shh. I need to get a new one. Um, and yeah, I love this product for tanning my face. It is by Saint Tropez um, and it's just a self tan classic and it's just for your face. Um, I use a different one for my body and I just ordered Bally Body so I'm really excited to try that out. But this one for the face for sure and I just got it from Shoppers Drug Mart. I'd say those are like my top products. Like obviously I love lashes and all other like bronzers and stuff and lip glosses and lipsticks. But those are just like my favorite products that like I'll forever use and I'll probably have for a long time. So another question that I got was, what are my favorite things to do in Toronto in the summertime? <laughs> drink, drink, dance, drink, drink, dance, patio hop, you know, no. Well, like I'm not lying. I do love to drink in the summertime with my friends, have a good time checking out outdoor patios, day drinking is the funnest thing to do, Jay's games, love those. Um, anything sport activity wise, like soccer games, football games, 
anything i'm down for those because anything like sports related there's drinking related usually and it's just so fun like the atmosphere is so fun and yeah um i'd say like also going to like anything that has like day events i really enjoy um i forget the name of what it was called but it was held at hotel x and i went last summer and it was um like a day brunch event or something and like i don't know those things are just so fun to really? do a touristy place but i grew up here so i don't really do the touristy things um but yeah like that's that's what i like to do in the summertime i don't I've, i'm not really one to go out to the beach and like tan and like do that kind of thing i just never really have been and plus i'm like toronto like i'm not going to a beach in toronto to tan like it's just not a thing um but i definitely do know people who do um and yeah that's just like what i get up to i also don't mind going to niagara falls and like doing like a wine tour or something like that there's also really cool brewery tours along queen street um so i would check those out um when we can obviously after all this is done oh how could i forget obviously summer concerts at the budweiser stage are you kidding me those are like my favorite summer things like country concerts are the best there yes i like country music oh my god <laughs> but um yeah i really really enjoy country concerts with my friends or like any concert like at the budweiser stage okay this is the last question i'm going to answer because i don't know how long this video is and i don't want the last thing what happened last time to happen again being like there's no storage so the last question that i'm going to answer is um a question that just was pretty generic and kind of a lot of people ask me it's like what are you doing to stay busy what are you doing during quarantine and honestly um i'm starting to get really used to quarantining because i've created such a routine like i said earlier that i'm like what am i gonna do when i go back to real life because like i have such a routine i wake up in the morning at 7 30 i have my coffee i read some of my book um i then take a little bit of a break and then at 10 30 like i by take a break i mean like i'm working on my laptop blah, blah blah that doesn't really work by the way and then at like 10 30 11 i go for my run i come back i do a hit workout then i do my protein have a protein shake make lunch then i kind of shower get ready as you can see i love doing makeup and you know dressing up and shit um still during quarantine because it keeps me motivated because i just want you guys to know the moment i stop doing that you need to reach out to me because I'm like, this is me. I love doing my makeup. I love fashion. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Just drop the beat. Drop the beat. Mm. But yeah, like that's just me. I love it. So when I don't do that, that's when there's a problem. So I know when people are like, oh my God, how does she like do this all the time? And like, why does she do her makeup? And like, whatever. But the thing is, is that that's me. And like, I, I don't care if like we get snowed in to our houses for a week, I will still do my makeup and dress up because I don't do it for anybody but myself. Uh, uh. Say that one time for the people in the back. But anyways, um, yeah, so then I get ready, have a little photo shoot sometimes, you know what I'm saying? And shout out to Ma for the camera roll action. I'm like, mom, take a picture of me. She's like, fuck, like, just get down on one knee. I'm like, get down on one knee and get the angle right. Like, what the fuck are you doing, <laughs> you know? And sometimes we get into screaming matches and my neighbors look and they're like, uh, is everything good out there? <laughs> but that's just the way we communicate. Um, but yeah, shout out to mom. She's been a real one during this time's uh, photography. And yeah, then I make dinner and I go, for, then after dinner, I go for my walk and then I come back and I literally watch TV or watch something until I fall asleep. So that's been my routine and sometimes on Saturdays I do my grocery shopping because I'm doing a new healthy eating diet that I've been on almost two weeks. So keep you guys updated for that one. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it. So yeah, I guess um, that will wrap up all my questions. Sorry if I didn't get to every question. Um, I actually was really surprised in all the questions that I got. Um, a lot of them were just like, are you single? Like, uh, you have to remind me that I'm single, really? Um, and just like other trivial things that I feel like I've always talked about. So, um, yeah, I did 
get a lot of things well not a lot of things from Sephora so I feel like in my next video I'm gonna do a haul and maybe also do like a skincare routine kind of thing um but yeah I guess I'll end it here um and just let you guys know that I love you hit subscribe and like this video and comment on what you want to see next and because like I don't know I feel like right now it's hard to do things but give me some ideas because I'm I feel like I'll, I can do some some shit, you know? But anyways, yeah. I just want to say have a wonderful day. And yeah.